Shut up. No one asked you. Another Enderman. Boy, I do not like those. Do not like Enderman. Green eggs and ham. Oh boy, football team. Rugby moves. Let's avoid, see if we can avoid a total scrum here. Uh, oh, don't, s oh, no lagging, no lagging. Why does it only lag when you got people who are trying to eat your brains? That's so not cool. Alright. Whoop. Somehow, I'm going to get back. Somehow, some way, creeper head. I really need to be in the desert for this. Water is reasonably safe. If I could just get to the desert and pick up my road from there, I'll be in good shape. But oh my god, desert? I mean, uh, jungle? Squid? What next? It's enough to make a guy re reasonably paranoid. Anyway, I think my road goes to about 400 meters, so it's only 100 meters away. And about 100 meters that way. Through the jungle, really, through the jungle. That is not cool. Yeah, pig, I understand why you're up in the tree. Hey. Ow. I'll just uh, break my ass. This is really what force mitts are for. It's escaping from jungles. Yowza. Uh, just get me to the desert and I'll be okay. There's some sandy bits. There is a desert over here. 481, huh? Whoa. Big old nasty cave. Bouncing through the underbrush. Trying not to die, sucking on my slime. Yeah, just follow the beacon. Who knew that dying would be so useful? Alright, the water save me there. Please let that be the end of the jungle. Please let that be the end of the jungle, come on. Of course, I would use force mitts for that, but if I stop to put them on, I'll probably get eaten. There's a weird light right there. Oh, more creatures. Well, you can see up here on the big map, the lit up area is my road at the edge of the at the edge of the desert. That's it. I'm putting on my force mitts. Don't make me do it. Don't make me... Would you just go in this spot? Okay. Four smiths! Away! Jungle. Go! Don't like you. And there's my road. Or some semblance of it. Yay! Made it. Alright, well that was neat. I did some kind of a weird burial chamber and a desert camp castle whatever the heck that was oh I'm only over here eh, I'll get there in one piece there's usually skeletons over here shooting at me so they like to knock me off of my little road and I'll be home in a sec and then we'll see what's in the uh, trophy bag put all the stuff away. There's my safe house, which is actually it's a nice little area again. It's nice flat lands and even though it says extreme hills, it's actually an extreme nice place to potentially build a, a settlement sometime. It's 
spiders? No, spiders are fast. Darn it. But they can't see me if I'm bouncing. Right? Thank you for looking the other way. Okay, one last little exposed area. And then I'm home free. So, alright, it'd be fun to see all the cool stuff we got. Of course, kind of annoying. I like to build each, you know, each building to have its own sort of separate industry or its separate purpose, but, um, in this particular case, when you come home with a whole bag loads of stuff, what do you do with it? At the moment, this chest I know has most the most emptiness. Oh boy, what do I do with all this junk? Alright. Technically, this is my was my first home base here, and this is technically my drop-off, but oh man, that's full too. Yeah, you gotta love a game where there's just too much stuff to possibly comprehend. Alright, well, smooth sandstone. I can drop off any dirt and gravel. Bah, I'm just gonna do a big dump in that other chest for now. Well, that sounds gross. I mean, uh, for now, we will just populate this with whatever, and we'll sort it out later. Some of these things actually sort of go here. The metals, the metals can go here. Trees, not really. Coal, my fuels go there anyway. So metals are good, we don't need that. Shards go up on Magic Hill, those go into there. That's pretty messed up, but let's see what's in the spoils bag. These are always fun. Yeah, it's kind of not a great one, but a steel chest plate's better than what I have on now, which is decimated. Hey, my shoes fell off. I think the zombies ate my shoes. Bummer. Alright, well that's neat. So, there's the iron bars that I stole. Let's see what was in my force pack. Just more miscellaneous craziness. And that's a pretty good haul, and I'll have to eventually run this stuff over to the proper authorities. I mean, the, you know, the proper locations. And the last of my hoard was put in here. It's supposed to be for crafting, but hey, if it's going to offer to hold stuff, then it's going to hold stuff. Silver bell wood. I guess that weird tree was a silver bell tree. But I did not get any silver bell saplings out of it. Oh, wait. Silver bell saplings for my collection. That is cool. Alright, let's see what should technically go over to the... Uh, oh, so annoying. Sand for my uh, duction smelter. These are building materials. It's a little bit tricky. It would be I know I... I would miss my teleport pipes. With teleport pipes, I could put a teleport here and say that this is a uh, pipe, you know, 111, and then I could send all of my industrial craft parts to p pipe 111, and this could be pipe 112. I wonder if maybe they ended up back in. Let me see. Are the teleport pipes back in this revision? Oh. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Oh, if logistics pipes are in. But I do. Uh, I see transport. No, the, those teleport pipes were cool for a while. That was Tekkit, I guess, had the teleport pipes. And I guess for now, there's there in this mod pack. There's thermal expansion. You can use tesseracts to beam stuff around. But man, it sure is easier when. Uh, yeah, just so hard to get your stuff together sometimes. Alright, well, I'm going to be just running around like a nut for a while, trying to put all this stuff together, put my stuff away, and I will talk to you soon.